Hey, what's up, guys? Chris, Spillbox.info. It's on this side now instead of over here, so I gotta learn to point over here now. Um, got a new little UI set up. Uh, well, it was about time to do something a little different. Um, quick video today. No review, no unboxing, no anything. Just kind of a little, a little show you how to do something kind of thing. Had a guy ask me the other day or today actually um how to keep from how to loosen up your contact to keep your your battery wraps from getting chewed up when you're taking it out so i figured i'd show what i do when i first get it and it's uh consequently i have not done it with this one yet and i have had some issues where you know i gotta bang on it pretty good and use my fingernails to pry it out so let's go down and i'll show you what i do uh, I, I usually do this when I get a new box. Pretty much everyone I've got has had this done except for this one, which I got two weeks ago. And uh, I'll show you that. So, to show you what I'm talking about, after time, when you, you know, your, your wraps will get kind of chewed up. And I shouldn't use this one again. I should rip that off and rewrap it for sure. Uh, the bottom's fine, but the. Uh, yeah, the negative side is a little chewed up. So to keep from that being is you know easy to happen. So you know I just you know I get to the point where I can just bang it like that. But right now I got it to come out just a little bit by banging it up. But uh, you know I gotta go ahead and to keep from ripping it up. I just use my fingernail to pry it out. So this one's a good shape. What it is is this right here is just a little too tight. And uh, you can go out and uh, if you can get on a list and grab one of these TSC contacts, which just goes in there and then you unscrew this right here and then just slide the battery in and screw it back down. Personally, I, I as often as I change batteries, these are a really neat idea, but I don't like it because it takes me longer to change a battery out when uh, you know I can just slap it, pull it out and move on. So I'm not saying anything's wrong with these. These are great, uh, but they're not for me. So what I do, uh, this is the spent battery. I think this is the one that's spent. Let's see. It was time to change it out anyway. Oh no, this is a good battery. Let me put this one on the charger so I don't get mixed up. So it's really tight in there. So I've got to do this. So what I do is we'll set that aside, come over here on this side and take these two screws out right here which is going to let that loose so just uh, use your 1.3 millimeter hex head pop them out yeah these have never been taken out they're in there good and tight so you see the uh, contact just came out so what I do is I will take the pliers We'll just use a Leatherman since it's handy and don't, don't beat on it really good, but just kind of hit the very top of it here and just push on it just a little bit. And just that little bit should be enough to get it to where we're going to be in good shape again. So you just slide that back in there, goes in there like that. Hold it with your finger and come over on this side, put your screws back in and try to do this through the viewfinder of a camera. Yeah. I'm doing it with one hand because I'm holding the contact in with the other. So that's why it's a little difficult to get this screw started. There we go. All right, we got that one started. I can let that loose and it's not gonna go anywhere. And now, Throw the other one in there. Get them both good and tight. And this completes this. This basically completes your um, negative contact. Um, the whole body, you know, the, is the negative is your negative. But yeah, so that just gets this there. Now we should be able to slap this battery in, and it's a lot looser now. I should be able to just. And it comes right out now. So just that little bit of pushing on it gave it enough to um, to um, 
loosened up just a tad bit to where it's not so tight. And uh, drip tip's a little loose. Yeah, there we go. That should have been a 0 .37, 0 .38. So yeah, there you go. That's uh, just loosened up just a little bit. Like I said, these TSC contacts are great. Um, you know, they just sit in there and then you, you unscrew it. Or right here, it's screwed in. So if this was sitting in there, that would sit. You could just drop your battery in there and then you'll come the other way and pull that loose or, you know, come out a little bit and it makes the contact and then you unloosen it when you're ready to take it out and it slides right out. Again, I'd rather just, boom, be done with it, right? So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. Just a little quick how to loosen this uh, battery contact up just a tad bit to where it's not so difficult to get your things out. You know, when you get your box for the first time, pop it out, do that, be done with it, you know, should be fine. And if you do it and it doesn't, if it's too loose, you can kind of pull it back apart a little bit. And if it's not loose enough, rinse and repeat. So I need to get a new button for that. So anyway, my name's Chris and thank you for watching. See y'all later.